Ariana Grande just kicked off her Sweetener World Tour. We'll talk about how she did a last minute tattoo cover up and how she honored the late Mac Miller. I'm Hunter March and you're watching The Daily Report. This past weekend, right before Ariana Grande started her Sweetener World Tour, she had to take a moment to get some fresh ink. You know, it's just kind of what Ari does. If you recall last year when she started dating Pete Davidson, the two got tattoos together. A lot of tattoos. Pete got the dangerous woman ears on the back of his neck, and the two got matching always tattoos inspired by the Harry Potter character Snape. They also got matching clouds, matching reborn, matching H2GKMO, and so on. Which, hate to get to know you, Mama Sita. What is it? But honest to God, knock me out. I knew this the whole time, honest to God, knock me out. And so on. Some of these tattoos have already been covered up. Pete Davidson's dangerous woman tattoo was covered by a black heart. Ariana covered up the reborn tattoo with what appears to be a sprig of some plant, maybe lavender. And now it appears that she's doing some alterations to the always tattoo, the irony. She posted a photo on Instagram with a caption. Post run throughs 3 a.m. with at girl New York smiley face, not a cover up, just evolving. Also, our show opens tomorrow. I love you and I'm so grateful. See you soon. End quote. In the photo, we see Ariana laying down on her ribs. We see an outline of leaves and inside one of the leaves, the always is visible. So while she didn't cover it up completely, she did evolve, like she said, leaving a bit of that memory there. And she evolved just in time to kick off her Sweetener World Tour in Albany, New York. On the tour, she will be playing 52 shows in North America and 28 shows in Europe, making it a total of 80 shows from now until October. That is one jam-packed summer slash fall. And after the first show, fans were gracious enough to post the set list, which is 30 songs long. Taylor Swift's reputation tour didn't even have that many songs. Ariana is really working for us, giving us a great mix of songs from all of her albums, but especially from Sweetener and Thank You Next. She kicks off the show with Raindrops and God is a Woman, and then several songs later, ending with No Tears Left to Cry and the encore of Thank You Next. A reporter for Rolling Stones reported, during the encore, she experienced some technical difficulties when her microphone cut out, but thankfully, the fans were there to sing the entire first verse for her and she had a second microphone just in time to start the second verse. It was reported she shrugged off this mistake and just rolled into the song. But before the show could even start, Ariana was sure to pay tribute to the late Mac Miller by playing some of his songs for her fans before the concert had even begun. And this is not the first time that she's honored Mac and it will not be the last. One homage is right in the show in her song Thank You Next when she says, Wish I could say thank you to Malcolm, because he was an angel. It's clear he's going to stick with her throughout the tour, and Ari is definitely taking this tour to the next level, because now you can register to vote before the show begins. <laughs> what an amazing, amazing thing to do. I love this. Ariana partnered with a company called Headcount to set up booths where fans can register to vote. In 2018, this company partnered with Harry Styles, Beyonce, and Jay-Z, among others, and it looks like Ariana is leading the charge into 2019. Fans who received a sticker that reads, Jess Pledge, hashtag, thank you next gen. But now it's your time to vote. Vote in this poll right up here to let us know. And the show went off packing the Times Union Center in Albany, and it's clear Ariana had an incredible time performing as not long after the show. She actually already started sharing videos from the concert on her Twitter. In one video, she was performing seven rings, and you can very clearly hear her fans singing along to every single word. The caption of the video reads, I really don't know what to say yet. For now, thank you will suffice. A dream come true. Type of night. I love you so much. Thank you. That's how she wrote it. Type of. It's like 14 letters. She later wrote on Twitter, mm -hmm. my mind is all over the place and be emotional. Thank you. I don't know what I'm posting. R N T B H at all. I'll hit you tomorrow, BC. Tonight was too much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. And fans were totally taken with the show as well. Tweeting things like, at Ariana Grande, thank you for changing my life today. Seeing you in person made my whole life complete. Hashtag Sweetener World Tour, end quote. And y'all, I can't stop crying. I'm literally so in love with this woman and the fact that I was literally five inches away from her at one point, I miss her. I want her happy at all times and I was insane. I can't stop shaking Ariana Grande. 
How good were this girl's tickets that she was five inches away from Ariana Grande? What was she sitting at the drums? Anyway, we're happy that Ariana had a successful opening night and we can't wait to hear more about this tour as it goes on over the next eight months. But we wanna know what you guys think. Are you excited for the Sweetener tour? Comment down below with whether or not you're going to see Ariana Grande and head on over to our new channel where we're gradually moving all these daily reports over. So if you love these, go subscribe right now, comment, tag a friend, and we'll see you guys later.